Uh, I had a game we're reading Black Socrates Speaks Unapologetically Black, which is a piece out of the re-education of the Negro, answering the second discussion question, which is, since race is a social construct and not a biological fact, is it good or bad to identify strongly with one's race, in your opinion? Yeah, I think it's a good thing to identify with your race because um, what we learn about um, psychology, modern psychology, is um, the concept of nature and nurture develops who our identity is. If you look at society right now, there is a, a dearth of people who have a full and well-rounded and comprehensive identity. That's what ca what's causing a lot of the upheaval, um, you know, shootings, um, uh, you know, suicides, all those things, a lot of that can be linked to them not having a firm understanding and grip of their past, their present, their future, um, and who they are in this world. And yes, there's good and bad in every description of someone, in every circumstance, but understanding who you are um, culturally and socially, I think is important to know where you start from and also where you can finish. Uh, and so I think that's important for someone's identity. All right. Understand who they are. All right, let me challenge you on that okay. from a different perspective. So I think personally, I think it's a possibility, and not so much a possibility, I think it's actually important that when we understand that race is a construct, meaning it was constructed specifically by the elite to divide the country. Right. And this country, we know, was built off of that right. discretion and, in a sense, creating, to, treating the African as different due to their skin color. So what I would agree, I agree with you, but here's the challenge. I agree with you, it becomes, because that is the real history of America, right. but again, a construct is not real. And we know it biologically and scientifically, it's literally just a pigment of color despite everything you've ever heard. Right. So I'm not saying that to be dismissive. What I am highlighting is, due to the unique history, being able to identify your self-worth, because that's what you're really doing. You're, right. you're taking right. away a group self-worth. Right. So it becomes absolutely vital to know your self-worth. However, I say the split should be breaking away, breaking away from a strong belief in it because that's the divide. See, so once the construct was put out there and says, hey, you're better than this group, so if someone, somebody is proudly white, right. they're gonna harm us. Now, black people being proudly black, doesn't they don't, they're not systematically empowered, we're not systematically empowered to harm other groups, right? But when you get stuck in that construct, you start seeing a divide and that was the whole point. Okay. So if you understand what I'm saying, knowing, so you have to know enough of yourself to have your self-esteem. That's what's missing in the, even in the current education system for our black children. So they, if they just, if you just send your child to public school and don't add to their history, it's hard for them to say what is a, what do I fit as a black person? So the system is still hurting, hurting identity, but identifying with it strongly, in my opinion causes the issues that our country has always had. And in my opinion, that was always intentional. So any thoughts to that? Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. For the reframe, uh, you know, I feel, I feel that, um, you know, I feel like black people in general, and this, this may answer, this may not answer. It's, it's, it's just talk, we're just talking, yeah, it's, not a, yeah. it's not an answer, it's just dialogue. I feel like black people in general, because of, where we are, our ancestry is, and because of what we, um, the forces that we've been under since we've been in the country, have always been um, uh, collaborative, communal, connective, um, and I think uh, it's a neuro, Eurocentric perspective to be more individualistic. And so that would be my only concern is that the lack of identity of race would push us more to be uh, a little bit more individualistic. Like, you know, this is my, this is my achievement. This is who I, where I'm going. I respect what I'm that. Be, I respect the response. And so forth. Um, and so, so I think that it's relevant. It's not the end all be all. No, knowing, of knowing kind of socially how someone has couched you, but that's just the beginning. The beginning of knowing how other people's perceptions, I think, is important to know um, how you impact those perceptions and what you can do to change those perceptions. I think systemically, um, on a larger scale, if we know that there is an inequality or a division, then knowing all we know, attack what's wrong. 
attack the infrastructure that's that's providing and I, that. And I think know? I think what happens is the strong identity actually keeps us focused on those type of transgressions, and we never go after the systemic. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so like yeah. when you're like, okay, the this thing. So when we go, so when we go, oh, this thing was made up. We don't have this difference. Why do we have this in the system? I think that's the natural response because okay. the construct is a made up thing. Right. It's, it right, has right. real life consequences, especially for our ancestors for a lot of years. So I'm not denying the real life consequences to include our school system that doesn't give our children the proper esteem. But that over identity, if that competition is not there and our children prove it all the time, they, they rock together real well without us giving them input. So I'm just kind of throwing it out.